In a previous tutorial, a viewer asked me to make a tutorial on how to make the player crouch smoothly. Uh, now this is quite possible to do, it's, it's quite easy, however it is a lot more complex than anything we've previously done, uh, and it's nowhere near as simple as how it currently is, but it, uh, it looks a lot nicer and can do more things. Uh, so first of all you'll see that I have all my variables here already. So you just want to create these variables is crouched, stand half height, real move speed and start cam height. Uh, we won't be using start cam height until the second part of this tutorial, but you'll need it at some point. So yeah. Uh, now the first thing we want to do is we want to stop using this is crouched because we are no longer going to be using this type of crouch. In fact, we're just going to delete all of this. And instead, we're just going to first drag is crouched into there. And so what we're going to do is every time we crouch, we are going to set is crouched to true. So if is crouched is false, then we want to set is crouched. We want to set it to true. And you may be thinking that then we should just set, uh, and then we'll just set is crouched here to false if they are crouched. Now what we're going to use is something called a timeline. So I'm just going to add timeline. We're going to call it crouch. Oop, can't call it that. We'll call it crouch line. Now timelines uh, allow you to create animation uh, with uh, variables. So we're going to call this pow. We're going to make it very short animation so 0.2 seconds I'm gonna create a point here at time 0 value 0 I'm going to create another one at time 0.2 and value 1 now you can click on these to make it uh, the view area and you can see we just have a straight curve we can make it uh, not straight or anything but uh, we don't want that we just want it like this so compile and save just to make sure we have it and now back in here. So now we have, you can see we have this here. So we can, every time we play it, it will play from where it is, play from start, obviously play from start, stops it, stops it. It's obvious, but they'll do. So now we can use power to any way we want. So we are just going to first, when we want to uncrouch, we also we obviously just want to reverse it. And so now this means that when we play it, we'll crouch, and when we when we'll unplay it, we'll uncrouch. Now, we need to actually do something with this. So we're going to create a lerp node. We're going to use the power as an alpha. So when it's one, it will be b. When it's zero, it will be a. And obviously, it'll go in between those two. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is obviously the main thing, which is we want to change the uh, capsule height. Now we need to know how tall we want it to be when it's crouched and how tall we want it to be when it's uh, uncrouched. So the thing is we're going to use the character components uh, crouched half height so that you don't have to create very many variables. So we're just going to get our character movement and get crouched half, oops, wrong one, get crouched half height. And so when we what we do is when it's one, which means that when we play it, it will start off at zero and go to one. When it's one, we want to be crouched. So we want uh, crouched half height to be at one. Then we want it to be standing up at uh, when it's at zero. So we already have stand half height, but we haven't actually set it to anything yet. So at the moment, it will just go down to zero, which is not what we want. So we want to go up to our begin play where we set the max walk speed. And we want to set uh stand half height and we wanna uh we want to get the capsule component over here and we wanna get half height. So this means that right when we start we'll get the half height and we'll set that as the standing half height. So now this will lurk between it, but we're not actually setting anything yet. So we just want to get our capsule component again. 
and we want to set half height and so now we are going to set the half height uh, depending on if we're crouching or uncrouching so if we compile and save this and go back into our level and press play you'll see that we can smoothly crouch but you'll notice that when we're crouching we don't actually move any slower which is a bit weird because we should be moving slower shouldn't we? so we're going to use this one again because we can just keep using this for as many as we want because it will just lerp at the same speed as this one so we're going to get this and we're going to pull it back over here and this time we want to lerp between our uh, our walking speed and our crouch speed but the thing is that we we have a sprint we can sprint as well so what we need to do we need to create a new variable which we have here called real move speed so what we need to do so we need to when we start playing we need to start off by setting real move speed so we get it uh, when we set it here and we just set it uh, with the start walk speed and so now when we start real move speed we set to start walk speed now at the moment sprinting won't do anything because we're not actually setting it, we're just setting walk speed. I mean it will do something but it won't work properly. So instead of this, we just want to get rid of that and we're going to get real move speed. I'm going to plug that in there. And then we want to drag this out because we don't want to just set that, we need to set real move speed first. Because that's how we know what we're actually moving at. So we want to set that and we want to set this to sprint speed in this one. We're going to duplicate it down here, and then this one we want to set to start walk speed. So it's pretty much the same thing, just a little more complicated. Uh, and then we also want to just drag this into there so that it looks cleaner and just so it, um, we can see what's going on better if we don't uh, understand. Oh, we need to uh, get our character movement back. If I can find it. There it is. Because we can't we, we can't just leave it without a target. Okay. Now we compile and save it. So now we have real move speed, but we're not actually doing anything with it yet. So what we want to do is we want here we want to use power again to lerp between it. Now we want to lerp between uh, crouch speed, which we can get from this, because again we don't want we want to have as little uh, variables as possible that we have to create ourselves. I'm going to get crouched, gets max walk speed crouched, there we go. We want to lerp between that at 1, so when we're crouched we want to be at uh, max walk speed crouched. And then we want to be at real move speed when we are at 0. And so now, if we just <clears throat> set max walk speed... then we can, we are now changing our movement speed, but there's one thing we haven't done yet. And right here, we can actually start sprinting with, while we're crouched, uh, without, like, we can start sprinting when we're crouched. So we just want to add one more branch here, and we just want to make sure that we're not crouched when we uh, start sprinting. So we're just going to get this, and we want to get is crouched. And we don't want to get the character one, we want to get the default one, which is the one we made. So this just means that... Oh, uh, well, we have to put it on a... Not the true one, we have to have it on false. So it's just asking that if we're crouched... So if we're not crouched, then we can do this. If we're crouched, then we can't sprint. And, uh... Yeah. We, we also... There's one other thing we want to do. Uh, which is just that when we start crouching... We just want to set our movement, uh, our real move speed, we just want to set that uh, set real move speed, we just want to set that to uh, start walk speed, just because we don't want to when we stop crouching, we don't want to just start sprinting again, because what if that's not that's not generally how things work, so we compile and save it uh, then we can press play and you'll see that if I crouch, then I move a lot slower so you can see that's working. I can still jump and everything. I can still sprint. 
But as soon as I crouch, I go down to my crouch speed, and when I uncrouch, I'm not sprinting anymore. So that concludes this tutorial on UE4. If you'd like to learn more, uh, then please join me next time when we will continue this and make it uh, fix a few problems that there might that exist and make it a bit better.